Fish on, fish on, baby, big fish. Well, good morning, people. Welcome back. Should say good afternoon. It's actually like two o'clock right now. We actually went and shot another video this morning, but we're here up in the mountains. We're getting ready to go chase some smallies. We're at my buddy Nate's house up here in the mountains. We're actually gonna go meet a friend of his who is a longtime guide on the Nolichucky River. Here we go. Geared up, got the fly rod. Yeah, already know. We're gonna catch him. All I've got is coffee. <laughs> this man is no help. Just kidding. <laughs> Nate's been a big help for us this weekend. So what I'm gonna do for you guys is introduce you to the man that knows more about smallmouth bass fishing than anybody on the face of this earth. 65 year old guy, Terry Pritchard, grew up here and he's a sage. Dude, I'm excited to meet Terry. Smallmouth Me and Terry are gonna get along. I've got a good feeling. All right, guys, we're packing up. We got about an hour drive, so we'll see you out at the river. guys we are here we just pulled up I do like to hype things up sometimes over hype things sometimes but I'm not kidding when I say this this is one of the most beautiful rivers I think we've ever seen would you agree yeah absolutely it is gorgeous let's go take a look just crystal clear deep blue I mean it's it's wide too but like it looks like we can wade a ton of it this place is awesome this is already like our new favorite place and we haven't even caught a fish out of here. So this is the crew. We got Nate, we got Levi, we got Siege, we got myself, and we have a special guest, <laughs> Mr. Terry, who is a big time uh, fisherman out here. You've you've logged a lot of a lot of years on the water out 40 here. Forty years on Forty the years. river. Yep. Yeah. That's that's wow. awesome. So Terry's probably gonna be showing us a thing or two, maybe teaching us along the way, which is great because we need it. We're not the most experienced fly fisherman in the world. So yeah, I am pumped. I'm pumped. We're gonna get ready, get in the water, get after. You said we got about a half a mile walk. Are we yeah. gonna walk upstream or downstream? Okay, cool. And you haven't seen anything yet. Oh yeah, all right. The way do you see the grass beds? The grass beds. And the, oh, the grass is starting to um, it's turn yellow because it, it'll die through right. the winter. Right. And you come down here late fall, there's not a blade of grass left. Yeah. It's the, and the river's wide open, yeah. but uh, yeah, it's awesome. beautiful when that grass is up. That's awesome. Yeah, I see some of it around there. Cool. All right, I'm freaking ready. Go. Let's go. Let's go. That used to be mine, and I was it's walking down through here. Boat. I was walking down through here one day, going to the grass beds, and I went, "That's my old canoe. <laughs> I gave that thing away. I gave it away in 1979. <laughs> so why didn't you take it back? <laughs> uh, he'll shoot you. Find, finders keepers. <laughs> he'll shoot you. I was telling him about the time somebody tried to take a shot at you in the river. Oh yeah, I've been shot at a few times. <laughs> I only knew about the one. No, I got. I used to. I used to do a lot of cycling in these mountains, and uh, I was one of the first cyclists in these mountains in, in the seventies. Oh, this was not the place to wear slick, shiny shorts in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're here. 
Just look at this water, man. This is unreal. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's still, like, we're in the mountains, but it's still, like, pretty freaking hot. It's, like, I don't know, like, upper 80s right now. This is amazing. Oh, my. I just want to, like, I want to lie down in this right now. Dude, this is a deep hole right here. You don't realize how deep some of these are until you get like right up on them. Fish on, fish on, baby. Big fish, big fish, big smallie. Ah, yeah. I'm recording, I'm recording, thank God. Big smallie, big smallie, big smallie. Oh my gosh, he's in that current. That's why he feels so big probably, but it's a good one. It's a freaking good one. Fish on! Let's go. Let's go. I got him, Siege. Yeah. Come on up. Nope. Don't go that way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's go. He's not huge, but he felt giant in that current. <laughs> oh. Yes, baby. Smalley. On the fly. Let's go. There he is, guys. First Noah Chucky smallmouth right there. That is a beautiful southern smallmouth. That is awesome. So this this super deep hole right here, I just kind of let my fly like really drift and kind of get swept and spiraled down in the current. And I kind of reeled in some slack and he was on. So that's a good sign. Deep, deep, deep holes. That's a pretty deep one right there. I thought he was so much bigger, honestly. Like. We've, I, I think this is, might be the first time we've really like targeted smallmouth on the fly. So I don't know what they feel like. And uh, they also, <laughs> when you get them in this heavy current, it felt like a big fish. What a pretty fish. Look at that thing. Green, just beautiful green and brown. We're gonna get a few picks and then get it released. All right, see you, buddy. Thank you. Another look at that small, beautiful fish. Beautiful. Not a big one. I'm still looking for a big. There he goes. That underwater. Probably won't be great, but whew, that's nice. awesome. Let's yeah. go, baby. Deep holes. I bet there's another one in that hole, to be honest with you. But I swear I thought I saw something. Yeah, there might be. Uh, let's get back in there, boys. We need a bigger one than that. Whew, this is my new favorite place. Yeah, it's this is awesome. <laughs> and just one smallie is enough, to be honest. Really quick, just wanted to kind of show you guys what we're working with here. You know, from what I understand, you don't need to get too crazy with flies for smallmouth. Uh, anything black, white, olive, streamer type of thing. Uh, this is, you know, this is kind of resembles like a woolly bugger, basically. It's got a weighted head though, so this thing gets down a little bit. Uh, it's still riding high with this current, but it definitely gets down, you know, a, a couple feet, especially if you let it kind of sit in this, these eddies and, and let it sink like that. But uh, I'm fishing this on a uh, TFO TFR nine foot eight weight this is a brand new rod we actually just got some tfo rods they gave us a discount and uh, we're going to try them out a little bit and so far i, I love this thing handled that small mouth you know perfectly not gonna lie it felt big <laughs> it felt big just because this is in the current and then i'm fishing a 10 pound tapered leader i think it's like a basically a, a 2x i believe 2x tapered leader i don't know i'm still getting used to all, all the fly terms but it worked i'm gonna keep throwing it Get another one out of this hole. There's a bunch of bait fish down there. A bunch. A um, bunch of trouser trout. I just had one. Dang it. Oh, dude, he was on it again. He's like right there. They're not committing to it. He was small.
Oh, can't tell. I think that might have been a rock. Yo. Yeah, that's what I was saying. We moved down, try to get maybe closer to them too. Nate and Terry are down there. We've, we're kind of lagging behind. There's just so much good looking, like this whole river looks like it could have a small mouth in it. And they could honestly be anywhere. So been casting to like everything we see, but we're gonna try to maybe hustle a little bit, get even with them a little bit further downstream and down in some of that shade. There's a lot of good shade down there and that could be key, so. How y'all doing? Yeah, we just had the one back there. We haven't had another one since. What are you throwing? You're just throwing that big streamer again? Yep. You think something bigger is better for these fish sometimes? Let's see what you got. This guy. That's something on the hook right now. But. Yeah. Hook, hooking us up with the good stuff. I tied four black ones today. I haven't tied a fly in two years. You tied this? Yeah. Wow. I hadn't tied a fly in two years and they, they look terrible. But they hey, no, that okay. looks good to me. Yeah. Yeah. What do you call it? I don't know. The, the Terry's Terry's special Terry's secret. Scary Terry. <laughs> there it is, guys. All right. Well, hopefully they'll start biting for us now. Do you find that they prefer the holes or they prefer this kind of stuff, kind of the riffles? Well, more? they weren't hitting up there in the grass beds. Yeah. Well. yeah. Got a few small ones up there, but. Um, I love this run down through after you leave the grass. I love it down through here. Yeah. I catch a lot of 18. Okay. 14 inch in here. Yeah. Should we hug this side over no, here no, and you stay in the middle? No, just come right over here. Okay. And we'll fish this little lady right here first. Okay. What's your uh, biggest one? In this river? Yeah. 21. 21. Wow. Yeah, that's a huge fish. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's big. And you don't catch many of them. Yeah. But I caught a lot of 20s, a lot of 18s, and that. What pound tip did you got on? Uh, 10. 10 pounds? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm using 8. Okay. Yeah, 10 pounds here. Okay. I probably need to tie some, some more tippet on. This is just a tapered leader I got on. But yeah. I'll make these tapered. Whoa. Braided leader? Wow. I've never seen that. Yeah. What's the use of the braid? Like how, why, why is it braided? Just so it can. Well, it's, it's all line and actually it's twisted. Yeah. And uh, so it's four strands here, two strands here, and then you come down to your. Right, okay, gotcha. To your ticket. That's wild. <laughs> These fish don't like a strip as much as they like a drift. Okay. Yeah, and the the one we caught, it was just drifted. Hit it and it's okay, gotcha. There you go. I know that don't look much right there, but I caught a ton of fish. I bet. <laughs> We're learning. <laughs> there you go, Nate. There he is. Fish on. Woo! Levi. Got him, yeah. Little one. Yeah. God, they feel so big in the current. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, 
They put up a fight. Okay. Yeah. Come on in. I got I got this eight weight rod so I can kind of <laughs> force them in. Hey Terry, this that one's for you right there. <laughs> Terry guided me on that one. Not guided, not guided. He helped me out on that one. Nice little smallie, not too big. He absolutely engulfed it though. Engulfed the fly. Awesome, awesome, awesome fish, guys. Not big, but it feels big in that current. I mean, it really does. You know, Terry told us kind of exactly how to fish him. Um, I mean, we were kind of doing it wrong, to be honest with you. What he does is lets these flies just drift in the current. Let's the, the current take the drag of the line. That's all stuff that you're taught not to do in trout fishing a lot of times. You're taught to mend the line and things like that, but not with these guys and it just worked. So that's awesome. We'll let this fish go. Oh boy. Guys, Terry's got a big one. Is that the best one of the day so far? No, I've got one bigger. Right? A little bit bigger? Nice. Well, we got back to the truck and after a few quick goodbyes, we parted ways, said see you later to Terry and headed back to Nate's place. What an awesome experience. I mean, the fishing granted was pretty tough. I mean, we didn't catch a whole lot, but we certainly got outfished and taught a few key lessons on fly fishing for smallmouth from a certified expert. It was so cool to see someone like that. I mean, this guy is 65 years old. He's in excellent shape. He was out there trudging around in those slippery rocks, climbing up and down the embankment on the side of the railroad tracks. I mean, stuff that you don't see people our age doing a whole lot, much less his age. Terry's just a true legend and it was it was a privilege to get to fish with him and learn so much. I mean, we learned a ton just about smallmouth, fly fishing for smallmouth in river scenarios from Terry. It was obvious he had a ton of, of insight and understood a lot of the little nuances. And I could tell when he was kind of trying to show me his technique, uh, there's things that, there's things that he probably just couldn't quite explain. I know there's things like that in fishing where you kind of, you know what you need to feel and look for, but you don't know quite how to explain it to someone in, in simple English, right? It's just sort of a, sort of an instinct or a feel. And I could tell Terry had that in that river. It almost felt like he knew where those smallmouth were gonna be before he even made a cast to some of those spots. And he knew exactly how to present his fly the right way. So again, huge shout out to Terry, huge shout out to our buddy Nate who invited us up there. What an awesome trip. We're definitely, definitely gonna be back Back to the Nolichucky. Again, guys, probably the most beautiful river we've ever seen. I mean, crystal, crystal clear water. And there's definitely some bigger ones in there, so uh, it's a place we're gonna come back to for sure. Guys, I'm, I'm in the workshop right now. I'm getting some stuff together. We're actually uh, planning another Smalley trip. And in fact, we got something big planned for y'all. A lot more content, a lot more Smalley content coming. Uh, but for the next couple videos, what you guys will see is uh, some a little bit different stuff, a little bit off the beaten path from our typical bass fishing stuff. You guys should enjoy it. That's all I got, guys. Remember, comment down below if you got any questions or you just want to say what's up. Make sure to follow us on Instagram too, guys. We post, uh, you know, a lot of like updates, kind of up to the minute stuff that's going on in our lives and with our our filming and things like that so if you want to follow us a little more closely uh definitely hit us up on instagram our handle is down below in the description that's all i got guys stay tuned some awesome content coming up soon shark fishing some other stuff that you're definitely going to want to watch hope you enjoyed this one though and hey remember all it takes is one baby slab out <laughs>